Hey guys, what's up? It's Jax here. Today we're going to be looking at my three favorite medieval texture packs to take your medieval Minecraft builds to a whole another level. Now, there are loads of medieval texture packs you can use, and it's all really personal preference, but here are my three favorite. Now, there are different, many different styles of texture packs. There's really, really heavy ones, which completely change the way the game looks, and there's ones that only just sort of alter it. Of course, there's also different medieval styles as well, so it's really up to you which ones of these you choose. But again, here are my top three favorite. To start us off, we have Jikolas, and you can already see some changes here. Now this, not only does it make the armor look more medieval, it makes every single block just have that medieval tone to it. Now, of course here, these blocks are changed quite a bit, but you can still tell what they are, and that's one of the things I love about this texture pack here. It also makes the HUD look very medieval with this darker sort of brown color, almost wood-like. As we walk around here along these medieval builds, you can see all the changes it's made. I personally love these iron bars. The thinner, sort of more ornate texture allows you to use this a lot more in building. Now, this texture pack doesn't change it completely. As I said, you can really still tell what the blocks are. So I call this a lightweight texture pack. As well as this, this texture pack doesn't take too many resources to load at all. So most computers should be capable of running this, which is a great thing because some texture packs are pretty heavy and do take some resources to run, but not this one. This one is great for that. The only thing that's slightly resource heavy about this texture pack is the fact that there are 3D textures here. As you can see, this mushroom isn't just flat, it's got that 3D look to it. This is, does make it a little bit heavier, but even then, it shouldn't be too hard to run. So let's go and see if we can find some mobs. Over here, we have a creeper. You see, it even adds that sort of fun medieval vibe to these creepers with the darker colors. Okay, this next pack is LB Photo Realism. And as the name says, this pack tries to be as photorealistic as a Minecraft can possibly be. So this is a very heavy texture pack. As we walk around the world, you can see very realistic things like these torches here with their animation with the flame going straight up. And the logs, they look so detailed and everything here is just so incredibly detailed. As we walk around and look at the floor, the wheat, this texture pack will take lots of resources to use. So if you are on a low performance computer, this your computer may struggle and you will have to turn down graphic settings. But again, this texture pack is still beautiful. Look at these flowers. I just love everything this does. However, one of my less favorite things about this texture pack is the armor here. You can see the armor just looks a little bit strange in my opinion. You might like this, but personally, it's not my favorite. But other than that, I love the texture pack. I love the way the swords look. The meat looks very real. All of it just looks so realistic, and it has that whole medieval style. Let's have a look out here, across here, and we can see this lovely boat. And again, everything just looks so realistic. And look at these lanterns. These lanterns are awesome. You can see them sort of pulsing as the flame moves around. Not only does this text pack add changes to the blocks, it also adds changes to the grass. We see little bits of foliage on the ground, some stones which you can't actually break, but they are there just to add some change. And things like ferns are completely 3D. Completely, look at that. And we have the mushrooms. However, the mushrooms, I say, aren't actually that impressive. They're, they're not as 3D as I thought you'd think they would be um, compared to something like the Jikolas text pack, which we saw before. But the trees are magnificent and lush. There are so many different things with this texture pack. However, there are some unchanged textures. Because it is photorealism, there's nothing to really go off of for these iron golems here, so they're left with the default texture pack. But if you are looking for something to completely change the way your Minecraft looks, but in the best way possible to get that photorealistic feel, then this is the texture pack for you, LB Photorealism. Now we're moving on to my favorite medieval texture pack, 
This is Windor Medieval. Now, again, this is pretty high performance, so we'll need a higher end computer to try and run this, but you can try and run it on a lower PC. But it offers a 64 times resolution, which is higher than the regular Minecraft one. And you can see all the incredible details here. Now compared to the other one, this one does look more Minecraft because things like foliage haven't been changed that much. We just see a retexture here. But the blocks just look so elegant, which is what you want. They look elegant yet rustic, um, which is what you want when looking at it from a medieval standpoint. And the armor in this is gorgeous. It has that full sort of king, kingdom sort of medieval vibe with the diamond in the middle. It's so awesome. Looking around here, even the iron golems have been changed to look like knights in armor that look very, very menacing. Going past these flowers, the flowers again look beautiful, but they look more Minecrafty than the ones we saw before. And these iron bars, oh, these would look great in any sort of prison or dungeon. Then wrapping back around, I love the stone brick textures here which sort of look more, so when I say more sort of random, stone brick in Minecraft is very form, so, sort of like copy and paste. This sort of has more sort of changes, differences to it, which makes it look more realistic. So this is sort of an in-between, where you can tell this is still Minecraft, but it um, has that beautiful realistic feel to it, and I just love that. Keeps the square blockiness, but with a revamped sort of feel. We've got some cake over here, which is absolutely delicious. Let's go and have a look at the mushrooms and some of this foliage. Now, the mushrooms are fully 3D, like as in they don't have, um, as in their texture copied and pasted and cut across like this. Um, but they still look fantastic here. And we go in here and we can see we've got a lovely little cat here, which I don't think actually has a texture change. So with each of these texture packs, there is, of course, more to them. Um, so you can go ahead and download these and try them out yourselves or look up um, certain textures from this or go to the texture pack website where they have got showcases on every single block. The link for their, these texture packs will all be in the description down below labeled so you can go ahead and download them. Now if you don't know how to download a texture pack, make sure to check out my other tutorial which I show you how to do that, um, how to install a texture pack as it is really simple for Minecraft Java. Now just to note, with all these texture packs, whether it be Jikilis, or LB Photo Realism, or even Winter Medieval, these all change the game and the way you see it, which is which is why they are a texture pack. But the reason why I'm stating this obvious thing is, is if you're on a multiplayer server and you're building with a very heavy texture pack like LB Photo Realism, your builds might look fantastic for you, but they might look different for someone just using a regular Minecraft default texture pack. So if you are building a community build or something like that, I always suggest going in and out between the texture pack and outside of the texture pack. So you can play with it, but just make sure your build looks good for the rest of the players. But if you're on a single player world, you don't need to worry about this at all and you can go have fun with whatever blocks in the texture pack you want. So again, all the links for these texture packs will be in the description down below, as well as a tutorial on how to download texture packs. And if you want to take these texture packs to another level, you can install something like shaders. Now, shaders is a whole another mod and a whole another video, but I've got a tutorial on how to install them, so the link for that will be also be in the description down below. So on that note, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and remember to subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys later. And remember, stay carbonated.